Share on Pinterest if your little one has suddenly developed a rash with painless, small, round, bumps with little debris in the middle, the molluscum pox virus may be the culprit. As a viral infection, molluscum contagiosum, a viral infection is easily transmitted. While it doesn't cause permanent harm, the infection can last for a while. Keep reading to learn how to tell if you or a loved one might have this condition, and what you can do to help prevent it from being transmitted to others. What is molluscum? Molluscum contagiosum is a common viral infection, especially in children. It causes benign, non-cancerous, bumps on the skin. These bumps or skin lesions are highly contagious and may occur almost anywhere on the body. How is molluscum transmitted? Molluscum contagiosum is easily transferred. The virus may be transmitted via direct contact with others, skin-to-skin -skin contact, or by touching contaminated objects or surfaces. For these reasons, the virus tends to be most prominent in environments with a lot of people including daycare schools swimming pools it's also possible to contract the virus at the gym or workplace. Who's at risk? The following groups are the most susceptible to contracting and transmitting molluscum contagiosum, young children. This is the most common virus affecting children ages 1 to 10 trusted source, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC. However, Contracting molluscum isn't limited to children, teachers and daycare workers. People who come in contact with young children on a regular basis may have an increased risk of transmitting this virus. Contaminated toys, desks, and other school objects can also become breeding grounds for the virus. Swimmers it's possible to transmit molluscum contagiosum in swimming pools, as well as shower facilities at public pools, gym goers and athletes. Contact with gym slash sports equipment during sporting events and in locker rooms can make the gym another breeding ground for molluscum contagiosum. Other risk factors for molluscum contagiosum include warmth and humidity. This particular virus thrives in warm and humid climates. So you may see more breakouts in your area depending on the climate you live in, crowded environments. Since molluscum contagiosum is transmitted by human contact, it's inevitable that the more crowded your environment, the more at risk you are of contracting the virus if someone else has it. Atopic dermatitis Also known as eczema, this inflammatory skin condition increases your risk of contracting molluscum contagiosum. This is especially the case if you have broken skin in your eczema rashes. Weakened immune system If you have an underlying health condition, such as HIV, you may be at an increased risk of contracting the virus. You may also experience larger than average molluscum lesions. How to avoid getting and transmitting molluscum One way to prevent molluscum contagiosum from being transmitted is taking extra precautions if you knowingly have the virus. Covering your lesions when possible can help to prevent transmitting the virus to other people and to other parts of your body. Tips to avoid transmitting molluscum Here are some best practices prevention tips. Cover your lesions with bandages and make sure these are waterproof if you're swimming. Avoid sharing towels. Wipe down gym equipment, weights, and benches after each use. Avoid sharing swimming gear and equipment. Avoid contact sports unless you can cover your lesions. Tips to avoid getting molluscum if you don't have molluscum contagiosum. Here are ways you can help decrease your risk of contracting it. Frequently disinfect hard surfaces, including toys, tables, and door handles. Avoid sharing towels, sheets, and clothing. Wipe down gym equipment before use. Avoid public pools, locker rooms, and other spaces with warm and humid conditions. Washing your hands frequently can also help, especially if you're in a high-risk environment for this virus.
You can be reinfected if you've contracted and have recovered from molluscum in the past. It's important to follow these best practices to prevent future infections. Unlike other viral infections, it's possible to get molluscum contagiosum again. Seeing new molluscum lesions means that you've come in contact with someone, or something, that has the virus, and you'll need to start the recovery process over. What are the symptoms of molluscum? The only way to visibly detect the molluscum contagiosum virus is through a person's skin symptoms. This skin condition is characterized by bumps that are small and raise it air firm to the touch range from white, pink, or flesh-colored may develop an accompanying rash that looks sex-me-like cave a pearl-looking appearance have small pits or dimples in their centers. With cheesy-like debris sometimes these lesions may also become red swollen or inflamed itchy molluscum bumps. Mollusca can range in size from 2 to 5 mm trusted source each, which is roughly the size of a pen tip or pencil eraser, respectively. You can develop these small bumps anywhere on your body, but they may be more common on your face, neck, abdomen, genital area, arms, legs, mollusca rarely develop on the palms of your hands or the soles of your feet. Here's an image of molluscum bumps on the arm. There on Pinterest how is molluscum treated? It's important to see a healthcare provider for any new bumps or rashes that develop on the skin so that they can properly diagnose your condition. Molluscum contagiosum typically resolves on its own within 6 to 12 months trusted source. A 2017 study found that the bumps cleared on their own in less than 6 months in 40% of cases. In more severe cases, the bumps can last up to four years. Most people don't require treatment. However, you might consider professional removal if molluscum is widespread not resolving in a timely fashion irritating and an uncomfortable spot such as the groin treatment options, depending on the region affected, may include. Cryotherapy. Cryotherapy is a freezing process done using liquid nitrogen. Podophilotoxin cream. Podophilotoxin cream is used off-label and isn't recommended for pregnant women or children. Oral cimetidine. Oral cimetidine is used off-label to treat children, but it's not always reliably successful. Cantheridin. Cantheridin is used off-label. Curatage. Curatage is a process used to remove tissue. Molluscum doesn't usually cause scarring unless the bumps are picked or scratched hat. Key takeaways Molluscum contagiosum is highly contagious. It's easy for the virus to be transmitted between people and shared objects. You can decrease your risk of contracting to transmitting the condition with good hygiene practices. If you think you have molluscum, See your healthcare provider right away for a proper diagnosis. They may also recommend other measures to help make sure the virus isn't transmitted further.